Five, we have new information after yesterday's incident at Coleraine High School that ended up with a teacher in the hospital. Our Brenda Ordonez is at the school. And Brenda, what are you learning? Well, Megan Amber, I spoke to Coleraine High School parents early this morning, and one of them actually told me that they didn't send their kid to school today because up until a couple hours ago, they had no idea what had gone on yesterday, but and they were afraid. But again, a couple hours ago, Coleraine Police Department did release a report sharing more details about what happened, which included an assault on a teacher and a student. And they say that these assaults were committed by a 16-year-old boy who attended the school and who they believe had been hallucinating after ingesting an unknown drug. I think it started a life squad our way for a female staff maybe in her mid-50s. This is part of the 911 radio traffic from an incident at Coleraine High School on Thursday that landed a teacher and a student in the hospital. Hey Lincoln 80 can have another life squad respond for a uh, juvenile male student. They need to respond to the vocational building. Um, he's got a head injury as well. According to a release from the Coleraine Police Department, just after 2 p.m., the school's resource officer was notified that a female teacher had been assaulted by a 16-year-old male student in a classroom. What kind of problem is she having? Uh, head injury at this moment. The Hamilton County Prosecutor's Office says the student punched the teacher multiple times in the head. Police say she was taken to UC Medical Center where her skull cap had to be removed in order to prevent brain damage due to swelling. Family members tell Fox 19 that she underwent brain surgery and has yet to wake up. Police say the student was found hallucinating in a separate room. Police reports say he had ingested an unknown drug and had self-inflicted head injuries. He was treated at the hospital, then released into police custody and charged with felonious assault. In an excerpt from a statement by Northwest local schools, they said, quote, the incident was isolated and that there is no current threat to the school community regarding the matter. The district remains resolute in their commitment to providing a safe and nurturing environment for all students students and staff. Now, the district does say that counselors were made available to support the staff and the students who were emotionally impacted by this incident. At this time, we don't have an update on the condition of the student that was assaulted. But what we do know is that the 16 year old that was charged is still in custody and will remain in custody until his next court hearing on January 12th. Reporting live from Coleraine, I'm Brenner Donias, Fox 19 Now.